Kevin Feige is opening up about his ambition behind Marvel's Eternals and his thoughts on that shocking MCU crossover in Venom. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter at the Eternals premiere in Hollywood on Monday, Feige says the film is a love letter to Jack Kirby, the legendary artist whose work included Captain America, X-Men, The Hulk, Fantastic Four, and so much more. The whole movie is a love letter to what one man was able to do with a pencil, sitting at a little desk on the East Coast. Eternals is Kirby's latest creation to come to the big screen, with filmmaker Chloe Zhao adapting the cosmic tale that has a sprawling cast including Gemma Chan, Richard Madden, Kumail Nanjiani, Kit Harington, Salma Hayek, Angelina Jolie, Lauren Ridloff, and so many more. Feige notes, we are very, very proud of it. Yes, it's 10 characters nobody has heard of, but it is the heart and soul of what Jack Kirby brought to our universe. Elsewhere, Feige also shared his thoughts on that shocking scene in the final moments of Venom Let There Be Carnage. Now warning, major spoilers ahead. In a post credit scene, Venom is transported to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where J. Jonah Jameson, played by J.K. Simmons, appears on television railing against Peter Parker's Spider-Man. This, of course, means a potential meeting between the two comic book rivals in a future film, although it's unclear when. When asked how that scene came together between Sony and Marvel, Feige said, there was a lot of coordination. And if you don't know all the coordination yet, I'm not going to be the one to tell you. But yes, between Sony and Marvel and the Venom team and the No Way Home team. Peter Parker next appears in Sony and Marvel's Spider-Man No Way Home, which opens December 17th. Meanwhile, Eternals arrives in theaters on November 5th. For much more on this story, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.